Hi, thank you for joining me. My name is Ollie Venn. I'm one of the sales engineers for WatchGuard Technologies in UK and Ireland. In this video, I'm going to cover how to create a VPN between two Firefox appliances. This one in particular is actually hosted in Azure. If you've not seen my video already, be sure to check it out where I cover how to deploy a Firefox into Azure. So to create the VPN, all I'm doing is selecting VPN on the left, and then we're going to go branch office VPN virtual interfaces. This just allows me to create um, VPN with metric based routing. So I'm going to give it a name, something that helps me identify it. So I'm going to choose my data center. I'm going to leave the endpoint type as Firebox and the, uh, the IPv4 addressing. Now we can use a pre-shared key or the Firebox certificate. Uh, I'm going to use a strong pre-shared key type that in now and then I'm going to start the wizard to add my gateway endpoint so I'm going to click on add and what I want to be able to do is use the external interface and the primary IP address but I want to choose the domain name for the ID authentication and this is watchguarddemo.ukself.cloudapp.azure.com uh, I'm then going to go to the remote gateway and I've already pre-copied this and I'm just going to choose the external IP address for both and if I wanted to, I, if I had multiple gateways, I can choose a pre-shared uh, pre key for each of those. I can set the, D, uh, the DF bit settings as well, so don't fragment, and the uh, PMTU. But I'm going to leave those all as default and click OK. And then I'm going to go over to the root, and this is where I just need to specify what the remote network is. So in my data center, I am just using 10.0.1.0 on a slash 24. And this is the important bit, the metric based routing. So if I was doing uh, Firebox to Firebox and there was a, an MPLS circuit joining them, I could put this as two and have it create the VPN as a failover if I wanted to. But I'm gonna leave it as one uh, because it's the only connection. In my phase one settings, uh, we leave these as defaults. Uh, we have some good strong defaults, but I'm actually gonna change this to Ike V2. Um, so, I'm going to click OK, and this IPv2 just offers a secure and faster connection type through the VPN. I'm going to leave my phase 2 settings as they are, along with the multicast settings. And I'm just going to click Save on that now. So that's it. That's all I needed to do on that one firebox to uh, create the VPN. And I just need to replicate that over on the other side. So if I go over to my local firebox, I'm going to click on VPN virtual interfaces and this is where I can now add my other VPN interface. So I'm going to put pre-shared key in again and click on add. I'm going to put in the IP address that I had earlier and the remote gateway I'm going to fill this information in. So I've now filled this in. I've also chosen the dynamic IP address because my uh, Azure firewall is sitting behind a dynamic IP. I'm going to click OK and then just do the same again under the VPN routes. Like I've done on the other side, I'm just going to go to Add, Network, and then I'm just going to choose and the network host range was that on a slash 24. And I'm going to leave the metric again as 1. I'm going to click OK. My phase two settings, I've already pre-chosen uh, v 2 uh, for my phase one and my phase two, I'll just leave as they are. And now I click on save. And that is it. That's now both sides configured. And what I'll do is just flick back over to the Azure firewall um, and make sure that that is showing as up. So if I go to VPN statistics, uh, I can see that I now have a tunnel that is active. If I go to branch office VPN, I can see my uh, my data center VPN, and I can see that it's uh, it's now up and showing me uh, the available routes. So we're using 10.0.1.0 slash 24 over this VPN. And that is it. It's as simple as that to create a VPN between two fireboxes. And this can be either two physical sites, a virtual firewall hosted in AWS or Azure, uh, Firebox V, so Hyper-V or VMware, whichever you like, they're all using the same operating system, the same processes, um, allowing you to create that VPN tunnel. Thank you. My next video, uh, I'm going to show how to, uh, to deploy a mobile VPN and how we can secure that with MFA using AuthPoint.